Well, you're in Canberra. This is the 10th of uh, April. Lockdown 2040 by a, a good clock, or at least a Peugeot clock. Um, sat here watching whatever it is. All about the countryside, people wandering about. It's bloody good, isn't it? And it's indoors, you've got a light on there. I don't know what she's watching. Oh, I know what she's watching. She'd be watching Vera, wouldn't I? And, um, yeah, it's nice and it's cooling down a bit. 21.2 in here, still got the door open. It's getting like bloody summer, isn't it? Shame we can't go nowhere. But there you go. Not a lot's, uh, not a lot's happened. Got on, um, something flashed up on here on YouTube. I can't think what the fucking bloke called himself. Summit 2020. Yeah, puts just puts like a block picture up and just talks. So there's no, you can't sort of see who it is or anything like that. Or behind him and you can see his screen. Going on and moaning about Liam the Terrible. And, uh, yeah, it made me fucking laugh. I suppose you know, Liam laugh as well. I can't understand if some fucking twats would sit about and like start a YouTube channel just so they could slag you off. <laughs> yeah. Well, then, oh, if you got to do this, you should do that, and you should do the other. Oh, a load of old bollocks, isn't it? Yeah, he was going about. He was going about somebody else as well. He was going about. Oh, the Boondockers. Purdy in um. I don't know what she called. What he call her? What she call her? The aging hippie. Well, I'm an aging biker, and I, I've got no other fucking choice, have I? Well, I mean, I have got no other choice, have I? I can either age or fucking die, and I'd rather fucking age, if that's the choice. But, yeah, they find themselves disturbed, have not they? Oh, when all this is over, this will be that, and that will be that, and you'll be able to do this, and they'll be putting signs up, and, um, yeah, find yourself, find yourself ever so concerned. But I like people like that. See, that's like, like I said, like I've said many times in the past, these people that go on and moan and groan. I mean, you can't see who they are. You don't know who they are. They just fucking uh, hide behind their, um, behind their an anonymity. Is that the word? I hide behind their anonymity. Yeah. Well, if I had something to fucking say, I'd let them say it. But you do get weird things like, um, what was it, oh, Ash, on, um, uh, what's it, um, don't, what's it called, Lost in, Lost in Europe. I mean, he seems a nice enough chap, doesn't he, but get, it seems to get ever so touchy when somebody says something you don't like. You know, oh, I do this, I'll just block you. Yeah. I mean, just revenue out of his pocket, isn't it? But, I mean, you know, I mean, I spent half the stuff has said is, see, but like I say, see, if you're stood with somebody face to face and they say something, then you sort of know if it's a joke or not. But when it's a written word, you can't sort of tell whether they're trying to be helpful, whether they're being sarcastic or anything, can you, really? So you can never be sure of... Uh, how somebody's going to take it. So like I said to her, like I said to her indoors, I said, you tell me you love me, and I tell you I love you. But does the meaning that I mean, as I was saying it, do you get that exact meaning? And what you say to me, do I get that exact meaning? It's like hate, isn't it? You say to me, I hate you. You know, I mean, do you understand? Does it mean what you, how you say it? You know, I don't hate fucking anybody. It makes me laugh on this bloody Facebook and that, doesn't it? You know, I've got my haters. Your fucking haters. What a bunch of wankers. What you've got is you've got your dislikers or your don't agree with us. You don't fucking hate you. God. Everybody's, everything's so fucking drastic and everything's so blown up out of proportion, isn't it? You know. You know, good. Oh, I don't know. It's like. I don't know. You know, it's like 
put a pile of bricks up and say, oh, I've made a rocket stove. Fuck me, I was doing that in 1950. Yeah, 1958, 59, 60, 62, between about 8 and 12 year old. We used to go out in the woods and get some bricks up your waterworks and that. Pile them up. Only because you only used little sticks, there was no smoke. We used to call them rocket stoves. We used to call it a pile of bricks. But, you know, never used to name them. Just a pile of bricks, wasn't it? But that's different things. So you get different people, different ages, don't you? You know, thing like, um, what's it, mate, on Project Amber. Come what he said. I was never nice, nice, she's a nice giddy. But, um, the police were round the farm looking for some bloke, or some blokes, or whatever, a bloke, I think two blokes and a girl, that had done something, dumped the car and ran off and had the helicopter up. And, like, how do we attract this attention? We don't attract attention. They went there fucking looking for you. Yeah. Yeah, but... I don't know. Yeah. But that twat or that bloody thing is... Um, I can't... Watch, so I, I'll find out. 20, something 2020 we call yourself. Was a right knob. Um, what I should have done, I should, I should have subscribed to it. So I should have, then every time he said something fucking stupid, it would come up. But, uh, bollocks like every time I've got time for that. Uh, anyway... Around the World by Trade with Tony Robinson. That's a new series. That starts tonight. I'm going to watch that later. Because I'm ever so fucking excitable. I'm watching Britain's Lost Railways now. It's quite good, then. You walk along these tracks that used to be railway lines. Apparently, down between Bath and Bristol. they got one, haven't they? Where they uh, got a cycle route. But, yeah. Anyway, peeps, i got money much to say. I was going to say, I got me some tequila today. I was going to have a drink, but I don't, um, just don't really fancy it. Not a very good mood. Yeah, just sort of bit, a bit fucking empty. I'm really going to get, say, cabin fever, because I were fucking in fucking jail. Fucking, what, five and a half, five and a half months I was on fucking remand. I was banged up 23 hours a day, I'll be fucking home, so I used to be on my own. Yeah, so, um... But then that teacher you shouldn't go around stabbing people, should you? <laughs> <coughs> uh, mm. Yeah, shouldn't go and stab at people beating them with baseball bats. It wouldn't happen. Um, yeah, anyway, that's boy to boy. That's that's another story. Um, yeah. But anyway, I was really glad when this is all settled. But it's like I say, so, you know, like, um, I'm part growing so I'll show you again. Ooh, it's getting dark, isn't it? That's, that sky's still quite light up below. That's it. Yeah, so I'm parked here on the on the outside on the road. And um because I don't think people think I'm on the bloody road, but I don't know if you can see it, but I I'm just parked beside the road. And um how does this fucking work. Yeah, but I mean I'm out here. I mean apart from the thing of if I had an accident. But you can't really have an accent nowadays, can you? Because there ain't no cunt out of... Oh, oh, excuse me. There ain't no, um... Nobody out there to crash into. But, I mean, if I was to start out now, drive up on the ranges and park up, and come back in the morning, I mean, I'm going to the van, have I? But there you go. Yeah. There you go. Anyway, peeps, you all have a good night and uh, look after each other. And remember, don't fucking die. We've got lots of miles to do and lots of talking to do, lots of beer and tequila to drink and lots of laughs to have. Might not be today, might not be tomorrow, but it will come back. Remember that. So stay classy, stay healthy. Bye-bye. <laughs>